Hi, this is Clinton Deb. We're getting ready to hike Hideout Hollow Trail. There's an old hideout down in there we're going to see if we can find and get to. Deep in the heart of the Arkansas Ozarks, Hideout Hollow served as a secret hideout for outlaws and draft dodgers going back to the Civil War period into the early 1900s. The leaves are just now turning and it's really beautiful out here. They're not in full color, but they're sure looking nice. Behind me is some really pretty red leaves, but it's poison ivy. This trail is a relatively easy hike of about one mile one way to where it will end at the top of a waterfall overlooking Cecil Creek Valley below. However, our goal today is to not stop at the top, but to climb down below the bluff behind the waterfall and explore the old hiding place where men of more than a century ago took refuge. We're just now starting to come into the pine grove, starting with some small ones, getting into some bigger ones later on near the rocks. We're just now getting to the rocks and before we get to the bluff. These boulders are beautiful with the moss and it's just starting to sprinkle a little bit. We're here at the top of the waterfall right now. It kind of cascades a little bit before it drops about 37 feet or so down over the bluff right over there. Yeah. It's beautiful back in here. It's kind of dark under the overhang. This area not only served as a hiding place for men who didn't want to take sides during the Civil War, but also became a place where nine young men took refuge at the outbreak of World War I to resist the draft. Known by the locals as the Slacker Gang, they brought their guns and ammunition with them to resist any government officials that would try to bring them in. After a few months, a couple of them changed their minds and reported for duty. Eventually, the local sheriff brought an offer from the War Department that if the holdouts gave themselves up, they would not be charged with desertion. It's reported that they all eventually surrendered, serving the remainder of the war and received honorable discharges. Later in the 1930s, a man named Ben Battenfield operated a goat cheese factory under this bluff. There are still some remnants of the walls of his buildings. Okay, let's walk that way.
these bluffs are just magnificent. I love these old stone bluffs. Love the Ozarks. Deb and I just count it such a great privilege to be able to to go on these hikes and enjoy God's creation. Truly it does point to a creator, someone who's greater than us, someone who is a hiding place and a strong rock from the storms, as the scripture tells us. If you're going through any kind of a trial, I just want to encourage you, turn to the true hiding place, the rock, the Lord Jesus Christ. He's a very present help, and we just enjoy His creation and all that He has done. We're back at the main overhang in the, where the old cheese factory and hideout was. Getting ready to head back up if we can climb back up on that bluff. One last look before we leave from the main overlook. There's the parking lot. <laughs> Well, what do you think, Debbie? It was a beautiful day. Started out cloudy, we had a little bit of rain, just sprinkles. Sun's out now, it's beautiful. Yes, it is. I'm glad we came. I am too. Thank you for watching our first video. If you enjoyed our adventure, please click the like button. If you want to see our future videos, subscribe to our channel, Clint and Debbie. Be sure to click on the bell to receive notification when new videos are uploaded.